Game of the generation. Now, you don't have to tell me your game of the generation straight up. I don't know if you have it yet, but we can go through all these games, uh, all these games and kind of give a little insight on like why this game is being kind of nominated right now for game of the generation. And, and, and do we think this game deserves it in any way? So uh, the first one, <laughs> I think you might laugh at me, is Fortnite. Yeah, I'm gonna laugh at you. No, but uh, I, I actually get why people would people would would uh, say that just mm. because of the um, uh, the massive cultural like impact that it had. You know, like Correct. Um, right. You know, it's it made people into like celebrities and shit, and that's mm. like stuff you don't really you haven't really seen since like, you know what I mean? Like like uh, I mean, it's really like the first game to really do that. Like, because there's people who are celebrities in video game culture, but you know, like Ninja was on ESPN playing with like Drake and whatever. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's like yeah. That was like I think the first time something like that ever happened. Now you can see now they have Overwatch and stuff on uh, ESPN every once in a while. But it's like, um, uh, yeah. So I think I can see why people say that. I personally kind of hate Fortnite, mm -hmm. but uh, I totally get why why people you know love it so much. Like it's the same reason why I always say uh, Animal Crossing should be Game of the Year this year because uh, you know. I mean, it's it. It might not be like literally the best game of the year, but mm. like uh, just the, the massive cultural impact that it had. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like Joe Biden has an Animal Crossing Island. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's like yeah, and people, you know, um, for the especially for the first couple of months it was out. It came out right when uh, uh, the pandemic hit, right when the lockdown started in most places. Right. And like people were saying on Twitter, like Animal Crossing is like my reason to get out of bed in the morning. And exactly. Stuff. <laughs> No, and yeah. you know what? I want to. I would love to get into a game of the year conversation with you right now. It, but I, I literally have. I might have you on for that if you're down. Like I'm gonna yes. do a prediction, and we can talk all about that because I, I completely agree with that logic right there. Amen. Yeah. Um. <laughs> on, on Fortnite, though, it's what you said about the whole Drake thing is absolutely right, and I think it, it's to me, it's like okay, it's first of all, it's a game mode. How can you even call it just a game? Yeah. That's just one thing you can put against it, but yeah. the the cult, like you said, the cultural impact. Uh, so many make, people make a lot of money off this game too, mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. game has kind of it pushed the battle royale, I guess, genre, and it yeah. caused people like Infinity Ward to make triple A style battle yeah. royales and change the game. Apex, EA, Apex Legends, things yeah. like that. Yeah. And uh, but it does start with like um it does start with um H one Z one H one Z one is the traditional battle royale mm -hmm. so yeah yeah I I I've, um when Fortnite first came out I liked it but uh as it got more and more complicated and as like more and more popular and mm -hmm. so there was just like like a bunch of people playing it who were like really good yeah it just I don't know it just got less fun to play because people were just so competitive with it you know what yeah, I mean yeah 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 like when everyone sucked at building then it was more fun you know. Uh, when people are just just popping up the freaking Taj Mahal, you know what I mean? They're yeah, like, the Taj the Mahal. Oh my god! And that that was my worst part. I I was never good at building on this I game. It. it was and like Minecraft for me. Like I would just people would be like, and I'm like, well, you know what I mean? And this, yeah. I I'm bad yeah. at that. I'm bad at that part, and I love Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fun in Minecraft because there's not 99 people trying to kill you. Yeah, it's like one creeper 20 miles away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm walking extremely slowly. <laughs> yeah, walking extremely slow. Uh, yeah. The next game is uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. That would honestly, if I had to pick just one, might be the one that might I might be the one. Like, yeah, um, that, that's probably it for me. Huge Zelda fan, mm. but um, you know, like I know a lot of people say it's like you know, just so, some like just pretty good when you compare it to like you know other games of its ilk. And mm. I have a friend who really didn't like it at all because he said it was too similar to like Ubisoft open worlds, and like um, so I kind of understand that, but uh, it like more or less like single handedly got me back into video games like when it came out. Like I hadn't bought a new game, you know, or a new console. Uh, yeah, I got a to play smash with my friends um and other than that i hadn't bought a new console or game uh, you know since like 2010 or something yeah and uh and then i but i i pre-ordered breath of the wild and a switch and uh um 
uh, yeah, and a pro controller, I think. It was like 400 something bucks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Just to play, play Zelda. <laughs> Just to play some Zelda, yeah. And I, and I never regretted it for a mm. second, you know? And like, you know, there's the way that they did the different areas, like, and, and they would, the way that they like reimagined the theme songs for the different areas for yeah. the classic Zelda. Stuff. Yeah. Like, I remember the first time I went into the, uh, um, the uh, Rito area. And uh, I realized that the song that's playing is like a, a the slow piano version of the uh, Windfall Island uh, song from Wind Waker. Right. I like, kind of got choked up a bit. I was like, "Wow, this is you this know, this is amazing." Kind of getting me in my sentimental area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Which is Wind yeah. Waker is another absolute mm-hmm. classic. Uh, yeah, Zelda is so nostalgic for me. You mm-hmm. know, Ocarina of Time was you know, really early childhood memories for me, and. Wind Waker, you know, it's one of my favorite games ever, and it's just, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, that game. Breath of the Wild, yeah, like like you said, it's, it's going to be, it's probably, this is probably going to be it for me. I literally, it caused me, it caused me to get my first tattoo. I, I have, like, oh, mostly, dang. I'm not going to, like, strip for y'all and, like, show y'all or whatever, <laughs> but, yeah, I have my first tattoo, and it's, like, nice. it's nice. the uh, Sika symbol uh, that you see oh, on the Sika slate, yeah. yeah. Um, this mm-hmm. game is... It's, I literally stopped, I remember playing it and I paused it and I literally was like, this is why I play video games because it's, yeah. it's a game that you can do anything. You can go anywhere mm-hmm. from the jump. It literally has, instead of like kind of just dragging you along with just a waypoint, like, Hey, go here, do this. And you're, yeah. and you're done. You're on to the next thing. It's like, okay, mm-hmm. destroy Ganon, but <laughs> have your own adventure while doing it. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to go straight. You can go straight to the castle you want, or you can go over here and do this and that. And it'll uh, always make you laugh. That's like the first main quest you get. It's yeah. Destroy game. And I was like, oh, I was like, know, already? Uh, <laughs> I'm I like, know. I ain't got no shirt on or nothing. Like, <laughs> I have me in like a the little paraglider. That's it. And you want me to kill yeah. him with a a wooden sword? Okay, I mean, okay, you can yeah. try to, but yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, not me either <laughs> <laughs> and it, the game itself is just it, it's a fantastic game i remember playing horizon zero dawn right next to it and like yeah, horizon, same, zero, yeah. horizon zero dawn you couldn't like climb everything but then i would play breath of the wild and it's like you can climb anything i did the same exact thing <laughs> like uh i really liked uh horizon also i got it yeah. like a couple weeks after because like, i got um a ps4 uh, canceled my cable and got PS4 to do like streaming, like Netflix and all that stuff. Like yeah. maybe a month ago, I got my Switch, and um, uh, ended up getting Horizon, and uh, I just liked it. I just I really loved it, and um, uh, I remember my uh, my wife asking me if she likes it, if I like it better than Breath of the Wild, or like, and I was like, well, I mean, you can't climb everything. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> it's literally that you can't climb and swim everywhere. Spider Man. Yeah, right? <laughs> it doesn't make me feel as much. <laughs> Uh, the funny thing is that is the next game I wanted to go into. That's it, like this is coming oh, from yeah. multiple outlets. Like I was like, okay, I'm gonna make a list. Okay, so I went to like Game Informer, which I love. Went to IGN, like Game of the Generations, all this stuff. So these are coming from multiple people, uh, multiple uh, gaming outlets. So Horizon Zero Dawn is a game that it's a new series. It's from Guerrilla Games mm-hmm. that made Kill Zone, and they flipped it around, started making a, an amazing RPG. I think it's a really good RPG. Yeah, I- really creative with the it's like you have these dinosaurs that are like robots yeah i really liked that yeah, yeah. and like how you kind of slowly like um i liked how you, it slowly revealed that you're like in seattle you know what i mean yeah, yeah like, exactly I, exactly I, I, yeah i thought that was really cool yeah like yeah really I just every, original concept mm-hmm, that anybody yeah, can if, appreciate if, that game if, Breath of the Wild had come out a year earlier or a year later, Horizon would have been everyone's game of the year that year. Oh, absolutely. It just got got overshadowed because it came out like the same day as Breath of the Wild. Exactly. And also, like, I think Super Mario came out, what, like maybe a month later? A few months later? Uh, Yeah, that that October, I think. So, like, at the end of that year. Yeah. Mario Odyssey was really fun, too. Like, um, um, I actually think – I actually still say that I uh, – 64 is my favorite Mario game, though. But I there was a lot of moments in uh, Mario Odyssey that just had me just it was good. smiling. It was so good. Big. Yeah, just 
just one of those games that everything that happens just makes me just so happy in that game. It's just such like an uplifting, like everything's so just fun and cute and just mm-hmm. the story doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It's just. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I got you. Would, would, is that, cause that's funny. Mario Odyssey is on this list. Do you think uh, for game of the year, how does that, how does that match up with, is it better? Is it better than Breath of the Wild? I say it isn't. No, I'm, I'm a huge, I'm, I've always been more of a Zelda fan mm-hmm. than uh, a Mario fan. Like, like, Mar- like I love Mario games. Like, I feel like, you know, I, I can't really think of a Mario game that I don't like. You know, mm-hmm. the 2D ones and the 3D ones, you know. Um, so I guess you could say I like more of the Mario games, but I like the Zelda games, like, way more mm-hmm. than, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's like, but, I, I feel like Mario has better spinoffs, but Legend of Zelda has better mainline games. Like, I love Paper Mario. Yeah, me too. I really well, do like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say the third, the, the the one that just came out. I haven't played it, but I heard bad things about it. I, yeah, I was I was like tentatively kind of watching reviews, thinking you know, because like, you know, like they're they're kind of reinventing a lot of their games. You know, mm-hmm. like uh, Breath of the Wild's way different than any other Zelda game. You know, Mario Odyssey is pretty much another you know Mario sixty four ish game, but they did do a lot of new stuff. Yeah. Uh, but nope, Paper Mario is still just a bunch of weird <laughs> baffling decisions. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the next game is Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, it's another one where, um, um, like, like I said, I was like a kind of annoyed with the the ending of it. Um, mm. but, uh, but all the way up until then, I was just so blown away by it, you know? It's amazing. Um, I was like saying, saying like cowboy phrases around the house for months, you know? Oh my God, like, me too. <laughs> it's like, it, Dinner's ready. I'd be like, "Yeehaw!" You know what I mean. You're I'd right, girl. Like, oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. My dog. Every time my dog would bark, I'd be like, "You're all right, girl." <laughs> I think I hate I hate cowboy things. I don't. I'm I've never been into <laughs> cowboy stuff. You know, like cowboys. Western. Yeah, western type stuff. Like even like I like Clint Eastwood. I mean, like, but I'm not into cowboy stuff. But that game got me into it. That game really yeah. did. I loved uh, Red Dead Redemption. I always remember me and you got into. I think we got into a bit of a bar fight on online. <laughs> I think. I, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, oh, you know, in a game that big and and where you can do so much stuff, that is like a relatively small complaint. You know what I mean? Mm. It's not like you hate the ending of like you know, like Uncharted or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like the whole yeah. game. I mean, but like mm-hmm. with you know Red Dead, it's like, I mean, I just you know running around, you know, killing bears for like a hundred hours. Or exactly. Whatever, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. I, yeah. Even if I have a couple things, if there were a couple things that kind of annoyed me about it, I I think it, it'd be hard to say that it's not like a like a masterpiece. You know, so I can totally yeah. see why people, you know, would put that as their favorite of the generation. I didn't. The thing about it is, uh, I. I just with this game when it comes to Rockstar with this game I just liked a lot of the characters I started caring for uh, Arthur Morgan a bit there and um, even though it took a while for Arthur Morgan to kind of open up it took so long but I feel like that's just part of his character you got to hold it in and then it kind of when it came out it came Mm -hmm. out and uh, there was always that scene when he was talking to that uh, that woman from the the nunnery that I think she was a Mexican nun or something I I don't know I Mm -hmm. forgot and she, he, you know, and he was dying from tuberculosis. Okay, spoiler alert, he is dying from TB. Yeah, yeah, he's coughing and all that stuff. And he was just like, he finally admitted, like, I'm scared. But when he said it, wow. it was so well done voice acting wise. Yeah. And, and I felt yeah. it. I felt it. When you when you really feel that, you really do capture me yeah. as, a, as, a, as a consumer of games. Yeah. It's one of the games that, like... Uh, I've been noticing lately in video games, there's been a, a a cool trend of like really really good voice acting that can like rival what you see in like you know TVs or even movies. In like, movies, right? Yeah, because yeah. like, yeah, cause, like um, you know, there were scenes in Red Dead that you know were like really powerful, mm. like in, in, in what you would see in in like a film, you know, right. and, like uh, um, you know, there's a lot of games I can think of that just said just like like I I was remember saying that they should have like a like an Emmy or something for voice acting. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, for gaming, yeah. Really, really killing it right now. Doing a lot, like, doing a lot. I mean, like uh, Detroit, you know, we talked about Detroit Become Human, and that second storyline really, I remember thinking about it, it really messed me up a little bit. 
Oh, with the girl. Yeah, yeah. with the girl and the mm-hmm. abusive father. That really – and uh, one of the games uh, – we're kind of bouncing around my list a little bit. One of the games that really messed with me, psyched, like my head and my mental, was uh, was Persona 5. Yeah, yeah. That's a great game. That's uh, um, I normally uh, – I'm I'm not usually a fan of games that are just that long. Like mm-hmm. it just like, oh, it's it just, ridiculously just long. Going. Yeah, it just doesn't stop. Like yeah. it, just, it does. Just, yeah. You know, like, yeah, like no one's ever completed that game. Like you know, it's, <laughs> it's thousand, another thousand bad guy. Damn. <laughs> like, come on. You know? Yeah. If if that uh, game but, had the first three villains in it, and it's amazing. Period. But if it if it was if it was just the first three, I'd still be so satisfied. Yeah. yeah. It, that game would have uh, gotten more like game of the year awards if it was like like ten hours shorter. You know yeah, what I mean? No, no, I completely get it. It's definitely like how you can only do one thing at a time, you mm-hmm. know, and it, like in the in between days and stuff. Mm-hmm. There were some things mm-hmm. that kind of felt like they were dragging a bit, but for the most part, like like the voice acting again is really good. Like yeah. very like like a high quality anime. The animation is beautiful. Like one of the best looking games I've seen. You know, like yeah. Uh, one of my favorite video game soundtracks. In, in, oh my in God, slap! Like, what are you I, talking about? Yeah, it's so good. I love that music. It's like, yeah, it's, it's so that, good. Like, uh, that, like, yeah. Uh, I remember I saw this meme. It was like, um, when you play Persona Five, and then it was just a picture of a, a Spotify uh, lo-fi <laughs> jazz <laughs> just, playlist. That's all you have to listen to. That's all you have yeah. to listen to. Yeah, the the yeah. rain version of the. <sighs> I can't remember none of the songs right now, but the it's when it's raining and they play the uh, is it behind the mask or beneath the mask? Yeah, it yeah, is fun. Yeah, yeah, melodic yeah. is fantastic. Uh, but Persona Five is I'm one sure. of the games. Uh, it was one of the first mm-hmm. games I ever had to kind of stop playing because emotionally I was getting a little too invested, and there was a lot of like suicidal things going on and a lot, a lot of like, I guess like uh. Um, yeah, sexual aggression, that. sexual aggression yeah. with people in higher power, and it really started messing with me. Like, this is a game, Curtis. Jesus, and it's like <laughs> yeah. I started feeling a certain type of way. But it's like that's mm-hmm. what happens when you get so invested in in, yeah. in a lot of these characters. And Persona Five did a wonderful job of that. Yeah, it didn't um, back down from just really, you know, talking about like difficult stuff, you know, because like yeah. in a lot of games like that, you know, they might hint at something like that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But then. Persona, you're like going into like what was it the uh, PE teacher's like brain or whatever. That's exactly like, him. Like, yeah, so yeah. Like, yeah, I, I was yeah. like one of the first at the first level or something, and I just like first or second level, and I yeah. just remember looking uh, at and like yeah, I remember just getting like going like wow, this is this dark. is something <laughs> serious. And he it uh, was like he was like sexually abusing the kids, and I'm like, this is this is a Japanese game. Like this the what like <laughs> how can you put this in a game right now? This is crazy. Oh, that's why it's M rated. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um we talked about this game a little bit. The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3. Uh yeah, I I think that's definitely a good candidate. I, mm-hmm. I forget that it is this generation. I for some reason I thought it was a PS3 original. But I think uh, it came out in twenty fifteen. Yeah. That's why it's so yeah, it was so early. Yeah. 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 Uh I mean, yeah, I can't really think of anything negative to say about that game. That game's great. Like amazing funny. yeah um it's like it can be like dark and then like emotional at times mm-hmm. but like a lot of the times it's like surprisingly funny you know like uh yeah little, yeah. little situations and little background quips and stuff and um yeah i also really like the show i know that's not unrelated but <laughs> no i was just actually about to say it's funny how like the show kind of emulates that too it's like it's serious but then there's like funny parts like i love the show too love the show yeah yeah uh, God of War, the the new one. Yeah, I was hoping that one would come up. Yeah, yeah. like uh, I was a little surprised that Red Dead didn't win Game of the Year that year. Me too. The big like, shows, but um, I thought that God of War totally deserved it. Deserved it. Yeah, it's a it's a great it's game. Just, so, and another game that has just top notch uh, acting. Like, you know, there's this scene like, and I you would never expect like anything in that game to be in a god of war game you know mm-hmm. like mm. like it's like you know um it's very deliberately paced it's got like a really involved story you know it's got like uh you know like emotional beats and like great voice acting and yeah like, you know yeah. what i mean it, yeah it's pretty you know and it's just like 
you know, this is like the same character who was like doing like three so mini games, you know. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know what's funny about this game is um I think it's I starting to it. become uh Sony's bread and butter. Get a another protagonist along with the main protagonist and have them build a relationship and go through adventure together when you look at The Last of Us. That makes sense, yeah. That's what That's they've been kind of doing recently, and it's like it's it's been a knock out of the park twice now. Uh, love yeah. that game. I, uh, I, uh, there was that moment where he uh, he's talking to uh, boy, and he uh, <laughs> and he, like he's like telling him like you know about all the bad things that he's done in his life, and right. he, like he sits down on one knee and he's like, "You have to be like better than I was," mm -hmm. and they had this whole moment. Stuff. And I was just like, God, of course, not making me cry. What are you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> no, nah, this game's supposed to make me a savage. That's all I am. Yeah, no, I'm not worried about yeah, it. Come on. I thought I was going to kill God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the next game is a game that I hold up very high. It's Hellblade Sinuous Sacrifice. I almost said Sinuous Saga. That's a new one. But uh, Sinuous Sacrifice. I don't know if you ever played that one. Yeah, I haven't played it much. Uh, yeah, I played mm -hmm. it a little bit. Uh, uh, not much. a lot. It's. Yeah. Like, yeah, no. From what I have seen and played of it, it is cool though. It's um, it's like uh, and I you know, heard a bit about like how they made it and all that stuff, and it's really um, like it's just that one actress who's like not even who was just like an employee there. That yeah. Decided to be the actress. And exactly. To hell well, kill me. It was like all motion capture and. Like, yep. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like almost like a movie, you know? Like exactly. You know. Yeah. yeah. Like there's actual gameplay and stuff, so it's not like you know mm -hmm. I don't I don't mean that as like a criticism, but it's like the way that they like shot it. It was like they were shooting a film, which I think is really exactly. Cool. Uh, I think the development, the way the game was developed to kind of emulate you, the player, having the mental illness psychosis through the audio yeah. design is, I think, one of the most underrated things that has happened yeah. in this generation um yeah i got it when it was on um i think also on game pass but mm -hmm. at the time i didn't have a lot of chance to play it with headphones so i just yeah. never uh I played it a lot because i didn't i wanted to get like the full experience you know yeah um i remember being a little apprehensive when i heard that that was kind of like one of the things that they were going for you know like uh they're like, we're going to try to uh emulate what it's like to have you know like i think it was like schizophrenia and i was just like I don't know. <laughs> that never sounds good. <laughs> it's really, uh, insensitive, you know? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It's totally, um, like, I, it seems they, they, like they really, you know, took it seriously and pulled it off and, you know. Yeah, like, they really I, did. Uh, I just remember, I mean, I don't know if you're ever going to finish it, but spoilers alert. Look, it when it, <laughs> when it became to, like, when I started learning that this game completely lied to you throughout the game, you know, she says that, like, a dark rod is going to go to her head and it's going to kill her if you keep dying. That's a lie. It just made you really, really, yeah, it just ma it made you really, like, tense up. Like, I can't die in this yeah, game. Like, don't play it again. Yeah. I, I heard that die three times. You have to start all the way over. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this game has lied? It's like, what is this? Second <laughs> yeah, it's like, so you're, you're, like, your, like your save date is going to be completely gone. Yeah. Like, and yeah. it was just like. What? And then at the end, you learn that none of it happened. She just kept, like, going to sleep and then waking back up. And I was like, oh, Assholes. yeah, <laughs> like, she just had to come to terms that, you know, your husband's dead. It is what it is. And it's like, but that made me kind of stand up and say and start clapping because I was like, that really f confused me. No, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's really genius. Yeah, mm. it really, it really me. Uh, people who uh, weren't. Who, or aren't like me and didn't get like intimidated by that <laughs> <laughs> um mm, it, yeah go through it and play because i'm pretty sure it's like on sale right now but if you know now that you know it lies to you and everything like that you might not you might get a little bit out of the game some of the puzzles are really good and uh the storytelling is really fantastic in that game too so yeah you would you would uh the next game is <laughs> I always think of that picture of you with the uh with the I think you had the 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 doctor the the witch doctor nose on or oh, something. Oh, oh, it's oh. Bloodborne. <laughs> <laughs> I was like Bloodborne too. So Here we go. Creation because I, 
I've never made a character look more like me in a game than it's just hilarious. You do like, look like a Bloodborne you know, character. It's like <laughs> you you wear a mask for like the majority of the game, you know. Exactly. And then like at the very end of the game, I got like a new headgear that was like um like glasses or like a crown or something that mm -hmm. took the face part off. Yeah. And I just started just dying laughing as soon as I saw it because I completely <laughs> forgot that right? because you know it'd been however many hours yeah like, just, you know yeah it's like I end like at first I hated that game because it's very difficult it's but, very um, difficult very I hard up, uh, um, really really loving it by that like mm -hmm. you know uh, often, like I'm kind of like so I sometimes will just kind of quit on like really hard games you know but um <laughs> there's just something that I was like no I gotta go back I gotta keep trying and I managed to actually beat it and I was like this is like yeah I love I it. actually really love this yeah <laughs> I think I really I was pissed off the entire time I was playing it but I love it <laughs> yeah I, I really like the uh the aesthetic of the game that that plague field I guess Vic is it Victorian age you can call it. I guess so. Yeah, I think yeah. it's supposed to be like a or something like that. Really. All the history majors are gonna be like, no, it's not. But no, <laughs> yeah, I think it's yeah, something like that. Who, like, like read every item description and know like all the lore and stuff. Yeah. And so like they'll say about it and they'll mention like a specific place or person. And I'm like, mm. dude, I don't know anything about the, that game. I've I don't even I don't know anything about the I don't know like, anything. Yeah. Uh, I loved it for that though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it, it's typical um, soft uh, from software. Just the the mechanics and how hard it is. It mm -hmm. was it was an amazing. It was an amazing game. Here's a game that me and you might we're not divided on it, but I think you got more from it. Uh, is Ghost of Tsushima? Yeah, um, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I guess you know it. You, you know it is true that it didn't necessarily like you know. Uh, do anything new, you know what I mean? Didn't like revolutionize anything. Yeah. But, uh, like what it did, I just really enjoyed. I I liked the um the combat and the voice acting, and I was just really impressed by pretty much all of it. Plus, I'm a sucker for uh samurai stuff in general. So. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. No, I I you know what? I love the combat. I'm in love yeah, with especially it. Especially when you start like just you're just so overpowered because like. Um, by like the second half of the game, I was playing it on like hard mode and stuff yeah. like that. And like, uh, you just, you, uh, uh, Jin or whatever his name is, just gets Jin, so yeah. brutal. Right? The game. Like you get the, uh, the, um, the ghost dance where you can just, just go in through. Just, just go just, through yeah. everybody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. I loved it yeah. for that because I thought it was going to be, I thought it was going to be really slow combat, but it's actually has that good balance of like, it's fast paced, but mm -hmm. they do keep that discipline of a samurai with it and you do feel like that you don't feel like spider-man you feel like a samurai in this game so, <laughs> so it's great yeah, it really it's great feel like a samurai. uh yeah yeah i'm a person that i want to do stealth and that game just whether because it, it's called ghost of tashima and it's like mm -hmm. but the stealth isn't good in it and it doesn't really yeah. make you want to be stealthy you want to go in there yeah. swords blazing because it's that's the fun part yeah, and uh, like your like uncle will shame you for doing stuff. <laughs> exactly, I didn't understand that. I'm like feeling bad about it. This is supposed to be a stealth game. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Now, like, there was parts where the stealth was fun, it worked, but then for the most part, like there would always be like like the moment where you get like some one guy sees you, and then all of a sudden you gotta just start like slicing through go, everybody. Going, going ham on him. Yeah. Yeah. The stealth is real hit and miss for me in games, uh, but um, you know. Uh, that comp that in that game the combat was for the most part like way more fun than yeah stuff. that is true uh ghost of tsushima is a good shout though i did enjoy it when i was playing it uh the next one is spider-man playstation 4 yeah i love that game i love I, it too. I, uh, it's great yeah i'm like um you know uh spider-man's one of the like few marvel characters that i actually like know like almost as much about as i would like some of like the dc characters you know because it's just Growing up, like I would always watch like the Batman animated series and Justice League and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then I'd also watch, you know, Spider Man, you know, the animated series. And then mm -hmm. there was the Sam Raimi movies and then, you know, all that stuff. And so I just, um, yeah, that game, I, like, you know, I mean, the story is a, a typical Spider Man story, but they tell it in such a great way. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's, it like rivals like the movies and stuff in the terms of like, you know, like, like you know, Doc Ock is gonna turn because he's Doc. He's Doc Ock. You yeah. Know? But yeah. when it happens, 
it's still like sad you know what mm -hmm. i mean you're like oh, mm -hmm. no, like, oh uh why did you like yeah you know like you did he managed to make him likable, even though you knew it was going to happen, like, the whole time. <laughs> I think this, with this Spider-Man game, I think Insomniac is going the right way. Uh, they prove that they don't really, they want to kind of tell a different story, definitely because of the ending that happened. Um, and mm -hmm. I haven't played the new one, haven't played the Miles Morales one, but I, I love yeah. the combat. I love the story. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the better Spider-Man games that I've ever really played. And the web yeah, slinging it, is amazing too. It's, yeah, it's just yeah, it's one of those ones where like, uh, uh, it's it's one of only like a small handful of games I've actually platinumed on PlayStation, just because like, I just couldn't put it down. Like, it's mm. just really good. Like, uh, um, I probably would buy Miles Morales as the as the DLC if PS Five wasn't coming out. You know what I mean? Because mm. uh, I, that game looks really good. And, oh, uh, it looks sick! It looks sick. I like Miles Morales as a character, and mm -hmm. I just think that game is great. Um, the just the, the little, the, the small amount of like gameplay and combat that I've seen just looks like everything that's I like about you know the first one, but just like that much better. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? No, no, no. I like, completely understand that, uh, and I think a lot of people share that same opinion because a lot of people love this game. A lot of people do. Uh, the next one is uh, <laughs> you're gonna love this one. The next one is Animal Crossing: New Horizons. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, man. Like, I mean, you know, I, I think Game of the Generation, it might be a bit strong, but uh -huh. uh, it's, it's an awesome game, though. Like, you know, it's funny because of just, you know, how memeable it is, how mm -hmm. cutesy it is. And, mm -hmm. But uh, um, it's just it's just a relaxing game. Like, you I know love what it. I mean? Like, I, yeah, I think a lot of people, you know, um, are, are were less stressed out during the lockdown, at least initially, than maybe they would have been because they had this nice, relaxing mm -hmm. game out with your friends and build a chair or whatever and yeah just, you know build it's, a just chair. Like, it's just yeah you know i don't know it's just uh yeah yeah one of those relaxing games uh, you know uh, you know i've i liked animal crossing way back on the gamecube and i can remember my dad walking in you know and i mean i don't know how old i would have been when that game came out like 13 or something mm -hmm. and it was watching me play it and uh it's like what the hell is this game about <laughs> like, what do you mean about like <laughs> it it really I well at that time it was like well I got to get my house right. Um, it's yeah it's a you know the first thing you said yeah it's like almost a we're giving it a situational vote because of the timing of mm -hmm. it. It's almost like yeah. Nintendo planned I mean, the pandemic. Good, <laughs> like, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's all a big conspiracy to get Animal Crossing game of the year. <laughs> exactly, and then another thing with the game is uh, it, it can appeal to all audiences. And mm -hmm. um, Jesus, what was the other thing I was gonna say about it? Yeah, I mean, even without the even without the pandemic, it's just you know like without that without that aspect of mm -hmm. it, it's just a great game. Like yeah. you know, you know, like um, I played the first couple <laughs> Animal Crossing games, and I don't like I I just didn't like I didn't dislike them, but I just didn't like any of the subsequent ones as much as I did the original. Right. But this one I like think is even better than the original. It takes takes all the cool stuff about the original, adds a bunch of other cool stuff. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was so, just about like, to say that it literally is it embodies everything that Animal Crossing is up to this point. Yeah. And makes it and then adds more things, it makes it even better and I think this is mm -hmm. the most popular I've ever seen Animal Crossing because I played the first one. Oh yeah, I think this has to be the most like mainstream that it's ever been like, you know. It's been pretty popular for a while like mm -hmm. uh, but um, I mean the, the GameCube version it was really obscure, you know. What yeah, I mean? that's and, right, that's right. I, I remember all the way up through like the first couple of DS versions, it was something that only like you know like hipsters played, quote unquote. You know what I mean? And, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, uh, but now it's like you know, you know, you have like the the next you know fucking Kamala Harris was playing it or whatever. You know what I mean? It's yeah, like, <laughs> it, it's getting like yeah. the popularity of it is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, the next game is Celeste. I don't know if you played that. <clears throat> actually i haven't played that no mm -hmm. i've heard a lot of good things about it um um i am just um very not good at games like that like uh, <laughs> me either I, I don't know if it, would be, if it would be counted as like a roguelike or like a metroidvania yeah. but i'm not good at either type either of those types of games <laughs> it's a it's a independent game that is very hard um is it a metro it's not a metroidvania it's a game it kind of looks like one but i, I 
Forget it's a platformer. Yeah. You can label yeah. it as a platformer. It's, it's but it's difficult. Where, yeah, it's one of those platformers where it's kind of like the point of it is to be really frustrating. Exactly. And it's like, I get why that's appealing, mm-hmm. but just to me, I don't really have that much fun playing games. Yeah. Like, that. like, like Cuphead, I didn't really enjoy. Cause it was oh, just man. I hear that. Stressful. Yeah. 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 You know, what I, mean? I understand why people like it. It looks really cool. The mm-hmm. music is fantastic. You know what I mean? But yeah. I just. It's not my genre of games. You know what I mean? No, I, c- I completely understand that. A lot of these games, uh, I'm getting to the list now where all these games we already talked about, but uh, I I want to say Batman Arkham Knight, but I, I'm trying to remember if that came out during this generation. We're, I think that's the only one that came out this generation, right? The, uh, the only Batman, Batman game? game? I can actually like, believe that. Bat- I'm just gonna fact check myself real quick. I don't think I played Arkham Knight. I played Arkham City. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, um, it did come out during this generation. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The Batman games are always good though. Recently, they yeah. yeah. I I didn't play them until um after I had played uh um Spider Man. Mm-hmm. And uh, Spider Man just it takes that formula. It just does it way better in my opinion so i don't know yeah <laughs> i probably should when it came out i would have liked it a lot better <laughs> so that i didn't like it. I right just like this doesn't make me feel like spider-man you know like, <laughs> spider-man makes me feel like spider-man yeah yeah <laughs> it definitely takes that same kind of combat mm-hmm. and uh that combat is so fun especially when you add in more elements like with spider-man you can like throw a lot of the the construction stuff around you and stuff like yeah. that on um uh stealth like you know it wasn't a stealth heavy game but just mm-hmm. sneaking around areas just webbing people up just, just just made me laugh it was so fun it's so fun so fun uh the next game is i don't know i, I was gonna say a controversial one but i think i don't know what you're gonna say about this i know what i'm gonna say but i don't know what you're gonna say about it. it's death stranding hideo kojima oh, i uh i could actually see putting that one as the game of the generation to be mm-hmm. honest i uh i just i loved that game now i genuinely put that as my game of the year last year like uh and i'm not even like a big kojima fanboy or whatever you know mm-hmm. i i kind of like him as like a as like a guy you know like i like watching interviews with him and he's just like a fascinating person but um i just don't have like a strong opinion either way about the metal gear solid games because mm-hmm. i just haven't played all of them and right. you know what i mean just, right just never branches i got into but uh, and I wasn't even interested in Death Stranding when it was first announced. I just thought it was just like whatever Kojima, you know what I mean? Like, right, 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 right. Like yeah, um, but I kept watching it just because I think Kojima and whatever he does is really fascinating and often like hilarious. Um, and then the more I, similar to uh, Cyberpunk, the more I watched of it, the more I like got like hyped about it. And then when I played it, um, I ended up just like I don't. It was like someone. Um, on the, I forget who, but someone on the internet, uh, one of the reviews I watched of it described it as like a game that puts all the stuff that you like hate about other games mm-hmm. into it, but then you just you love doing it in this game. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, it's actually a really good. It's kind of right, yeah. I didn't play it. Yeah. yeah, I actually oh, yeah. didn't. Uh, uh-uh, I didn't play it. I uh, Niall, the guy that's always on here too, he talked about it a lot, and um, yeah. it seems like a game that's very interesting. Uh, mm-hmm. it, but it, my issue with that game, just hearing about it is it sounds like it's a game that's hard to get into. Um, like I could kind of see it being hard to get into because it is, um, slow at times, particularly in the beginning. Yeah. Um, and it, there is the, like a lot of just like walking around and traversing and stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's just the way that they do it. Um, uh, it, it's like you like plot a specific course by like looking at the topographical map and then you like go that way and mm-hmm. it's like. Um, it just it just hooked me. You know what I mean? It's like it's one of those things. Was like I could see people getting bored of it in the first like maybe like like hour, a couple like two or three hours. You know, but yeah. if you don't, you know what I mean? Then I think you'll get like real hooked. And uh, mm. I actually got really into the story. Like normally I kind of just ignore stories or I don't really you know like games or I don't pay yeah. that much attention. Uh, no. uh, um, but it it was def- it's definitely weird. Uh, but it's not nearly as uh, confusing um, or hard to follow as the uh, commercials made it out to be. Like I think um, the marketing on the game was was weird. Like Kojima, you know, like, like 
Yeah, like they asked Kojima, what's this game about? And he's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll no, figure like, it out <laughs> when it's there. <laughs> yeah. And then it's like, uh, you know, all the, like, there's, you know, I don't want to get into too many spoilers or anything because, uh, mm. you know, you should have to play it. But, like, there's all these, like, huge boss fights and, like, really epic moments and, like, mm. you know, that's like, uh, you know, like, like really, uh, it gets real, you know, RPG ish at some time, at some points. And, like, uh, uh, but every trailer just it was just it was just the guy just like walking slowly into like empty fields. Yeah, that's like, all no I meat. saw. <laughs> like, Na- naked with a baby, like like what what in the world's yeah. going on? <laughs> it's trying to be super confusing. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, I ended up just liking it a lot more than I expected to like it. And um, uh, what's it called? Uh, that's another one that has some great um, acting in it. Yeah, 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 totally. I can, I can definitely see that. Uh, the game that beat it in Game of the Year that last year, I it was uh, Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice, which I, which I love. That's, that's yeah, right. I love that game. I have not played that. Um, I only do. I can only do one uh, from Soft game at a time. <laughs> and right now I'm playing through Dark Souls Three. So okay, like, that, Dark Souls Three is a little bit easier. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> <laughs> i hear that uh the next game is so we have two more games uh then the first one is overwatch no I, I mean that's a fun game i mean I, that's uh actually i um i got it on um pc because it was uh really cheap on steam one day like yeah. you know they just they randomly just be like oh this game's like three bucks just for like the next like grab seven, it grab, grab it yeah but yeah yeah and so i just happened to get it there just because people are always talking about it and stuff. I just kind of wanted to check it out. And I played a couple of the, like, uh, free-to-play kind of rip-offs of it and thought they were okay. Um, and um, I just ended up kind of liking it, you know? Mm-hmm. It's just – it's hard. I'm not a huge into, like, multiplayer games, you know, like, in general. Like, I, it's not that I don't like them. I just prefer single-player games. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, – so it's kind of hard for me to, to want to say that, like, a online shooter should be, like – game of the year or game of the generation you know what i mean yeah um, yeah um but it is a good one you know um mm-hmm. blizzard's another one of those kind of questionable oh items. lord <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> i like it though i like you know it's it is um i totally see why people get so addicted to mm. it and why people watch it on uh espn and stuff like it's, that. it's it's a very team oriented game and uh mm. uh and i think that's mm. <laughs> I was going to say, it is a little bit, when you play Call of Duty or when you play uh, certain console games, sometimes that team-oriented crap kind of goes out the window. And it's like, uh, if if we're all good, we're going to find a way to win. This game doesn't mm-hmm. really do that. It, you really do have to play your part in your role. And it did have a great following. Uh, it was good at, like, balance, you know? Like, mm-hmm. um, like a Call of Duty games, I like to a point, you know? But it's like um like like every other match you know there's one guy that gets like 30 kills and everyone else on both teams gets like one apiece or something and mm-hmm. it's just like you know what i mean yeah, no, and I uh you. watch that didn't really happen you know because mm-hmm. it's like you like you said everyone had that and i always laughed because i would always be um the the guy with the cannon or the or bastion <laughs> the robot guy. Yeah, no, no, i got you <laughs> because everyone hates <laughs> and they're just like oh, what are you doing fuck you man you're being a bastion and i'm like that's the character I'm good with. Sorry. <laughs> I'm I'm just good with him. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Uh, <laughs> the so the very final game we're gonna talk about here is uh a little bit of a controversial one. It's uh, The Last of Us Part Two. Mm. Of course, it's See, that one. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, I think um, uh, yeah, that is like a kind of a complicated one. Like, unfortunately, because mm. it's just weird like incels and homophobes and stuff yeah um and like uh um you know and it's like i for me i played the first one the remastered on ps4 i played there uh and um just didn't get that into it like um i didn't just like outright hate it or anything i just kind of lost interest in it after a while i just the the gameplay didn't hook me in Mm -hmm. and so i just didn't pick up the second one and so uh I don't know. It's just, yeah, okay, I, I got you. I got it you. It seems like it's like a you know like a masterpiece, the original one. I mean, uh, but I was just like, just I don't mm. know. Uh, I mean, the acting is good, the graphics are good. Um, I just I just wasn't a fan of the gameplay. Mm. Um, 
but I I I think it's it's super ridiculous how people get mad at it because like you know you play as like a woman you know or and there's like lesbians in the game or whatever mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. it's like there's mm-hmm. women and lesbians in real life like yeah you know what I mean? yeah it doesn't make any sense like, uh if you yeah. like if you don't if yeah and you know I, I listened to a video the other day and if you dislike it for that reason that is just the the wrong reason to dislike the game because the game people want to say that it forced it upon you it really didn't we all knew ellie was like not trying to be funny we all kind of could see ellie was kind of going that way yeah and it's like <laughs> how is it forcing it on you it's like it wasn't you know and it's like oh man like that's that's a similar argument to you know Mortal Kombat makes you violent. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. That is very it's, true. It's like, oh, I played, you know, a character, you know, I listen to, you know, it's like, what, you don't listen to Elton John or something? If Elton John's on a song, you skip it because you don't want to, like, turn gay? It's like, it, <laughs> it doesn't work that way. They're no one's forcing anything on you. Right. Uh, it's like, you're forcing your thing on them by making them not be in the game. You know what I mean? No, like, I completely hear that. No, I think you made some really good points, and um, this game, I do have my criticisms with it because I feel like some characters, they did try to force upon me. Uh, some people are just like, I just feel so hurt and disrespected that they did it. But no, I mean, the woman that she was with, I just felt like they tried to force her, force me to care about, care about her. And mm-hmm. when I was just like, yeah, I don't really care too much about this character. They threw in that, oh, she's pregnant. Like I was supposed to keep caring. Like I like I was supposed to be like, oh wait, she's pregnant now. I care. Like no, it's like someone I usually if there's someone you don't like and then they tell you they're pregnant, you're like extra don't want to hang out with Yeah, exactly. And that was really just the example. And like, eh. but there's I, a lot of things in this game I like. I do yeah, like that was a lot of the more level-headed, uh, like the reviewers and stuff. You know who were mm. like you know non-biased like objective reviewers like exactly a lot of the time that's what they were saying too was just like the characterization of like the other playable woman is just she's just kind of a shit person it's really unlikable and yeah just, yeah like, like just, didn't she like like beat the protagonist of the last game to death or something like that and it's just like mm-hmm. she looks like, yeah yeah she did yeah Spoiler, sorry. <laughs> no 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 you good and you know there's a lot of things within the game i'm like that, game, that was like a meme before the game even came out. Exactly. I, I was like, yeah, I understand. I kind of get people being mad about mm-hmm. that. You know, I don't know if I if I was that much of a fan. I don't think I'd be mad enough to like not buy the game. Yeah. But uh, I can see people criticizing it for that. Mm-hmm. But um, it, and I I thought it was hilarious when uh, one of the writers said it was like the Schindler's List of video games or something. Oh like that. my god. uh my thing with that is uh when i look at the whole game in 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 a as a whole whether it's like the story and everything like that um and i know i know you didn't i I, you didn't like play through the first one like you don't know exactly what's going on right because i don't want to make this into a last of us podcast i could talk about that another time um (laughs) I, I think that I, some of the criticism, like, oh, well, Joel shouldn't have died that way. He was a schmuck. Like, what he did was warranted in a way, but, like, he, you know, he stopped the world from being saved. Like, he, he was selfish. But at the same time, you know, I look at other things. People are like, well, Ellie did a lot of bad things during The Last of Us Part Two. In this game, I feel like there isn't any good people and there's not bad people. Ellie did what she did because she needed to survive. and But, like... I kind of like the fact zombie. that you said what? It's a zombie apocalypse. It, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And some people are like, well, I didn't like how I had to do this and this. It's not mm-hmm. about you. It's about what they would do, you know? Yeah. And that was my big thing about it. But I love the game. It's my game of the year this year. There was that part in uh, Red Dead 2 where uh, you were kind of like Dutch kind of forces you to like screw over the Native American tribe. And like, yeah, that one of the times where i kind of had to just pause the game for a few days and mm-hmm. just kind of like reflect on it because mm-hmm. it was like okay this genuinely made me feel really uncomfortable and bad yeah. and like i just like really wish i could have refused this mission but it was like a main story mission and like 
uh, it kind of blindsided you because you think you're helping them until like like a few minutes before it goes down. And I'm like, oh, I can't believe it's that. I think it's funny you say that because before we even started, you was like, yeah, I got like the bad ending of the game. So I did all the bad stuff. And it's like, well, that that right there, I didn't feel OK uh, with. Yeah, that one was bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just you know, shooting white people. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the moment of truth, you guys been waiting for about exactly an hour and a half for it. Uh, uh, slap, <laughs> give me your, what is your game of the generation? Everything we went through, everything we talked about, what is your game of the generation? If I had to pick one, I guess I would go with uh, Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would say that uh, Death Stranding is, would probably be like a, a somewhat close second. Uh, and uh, honorable mention to uh, Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. You loved it that much. <laughs> I just I I the uh um the it's just like a old school FPS game you know just it's just played so much like like a game from the 90s but like with modern controls and then story and the voice acting was was great the story is just bonkers like it's mm. one of the like one of my favorite video game stories like it's just everything that happens it's just so over the top and ridiculous you know like it's mm-hmm. just it's just it's just yeah, that game is bananas. I just loved every moment of it. There was I I was like put but by the time the game ended, I put my controller down and it was just like plotting the TV. <laughs> nice. I those moments are, are yeah, amazing. Was, yeah. Uh well. like let's like look, you don't have to come on here and lie. You just like killing Nazis. Let's just be honest. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like it's like the whole game. They just they they're just hella making jokes about it too. They're like, I mean I mean, I've killed a lot of people, and it's like, no, they're just Nazis, you know. Yeah. And then, like the, uh, like the, uh, um, uh, the Alabama, I think, level, mm-hmm. when uh, it, you get to like murder the KKK and stuff like that. And I'm oh, just, like, beautiful. That's just, yeah, I mean, that, that's just, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's great. You <laughs> put it there, you know. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, for me, I completely agree. Breath of the Wild. I think has Mm -hmm. done too much. I think it's done. uh, It's, it definitely was the game of the year in 2018 or 17, 18, one of them. Yeah. Yeah. One of those. And uh, it, I think it's game of the generation. My second one would probably be red dead. Third would probably be either the Witcher or Hellblade. Um, But yeah. Yeah. A lot of games we talked about. I mean, if you had a whole, if that was just your whole collection, you'd be like, wow, you, (laughs) you played some Mm -hmm. awesome games. Right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my name is Curtis Russell with the Soul Dojo Gaming Channel, and this has been my man Volta Slapadelic. Please, uh, you Thanks just up. dropped an album called uh, Was it Space Time? Uh, Space Time. Yeah. Uh, it's a uh, five track EP. Uh, it's um, yeah. It's uh more of kind of um leaning into like the sampling and like the uh more um uh, uh I don't know. I guess you would say satirical. Uh. Uh, kind of subject matter like mm. uh, it still gets political still has like some of the more darker kind of themes but I, I I do it in a way where I'm kind of poking fun on myself more than I am like uh, you know feeling sorry for myself or whatever no no I've, <laughs> and I've heard it about twice now all the way through and I think I'm gonna link it in the um in the uh, in the description here on the video and also on Spotify but it's nice no I, I did really enjoy the project and I also if you guys you guys, if you if you followed for a while here on the Soul Dojo, you've heard the song um, "Viewers Beware" on yeah. our yeah. We've had yeah, it's like yeah, I was on that yeah, <laughs> like that was on here for a while as our as our outro song. So this is a perfect song, man. Ask slap if I can use it. So yeah, it was perfect. That uh, do you want to shout out your 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 Twitter? Um, uh, yeah, just um, at Slapadelic on Twitter. Um, S L A P A D E L I C. Um. Um. Walter Safadelic on pretty much every social media thing. Um, and um, yeah, look me up on uh, Spotify and Twitter. You know, Spotify, if you want to hear my music, Twitter, if you want to see me say mean stuff to the president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> And I've been Curtis Russell, of course. Uh, Cali from the Dojo is my Twitter. Go ahead and follow me. And um, we're talking about awesome game and stuff. Man, Slap, I, I appreciate you so much, man. This has been oh, great. Man. You surprised me a lot with your gaming knowledge. You have, because I was like, oh wow, he's like up there with me. Like, dang. Like, <laughs> I really dove back into it, but I got these new consoles uh, uh, a couple years back. <laughs> Absolutely, man. I appreciate you guys listening. Whether you're listening on Spotify, if you're listening on Spotify, make sure you follow. If you're listening on uh, the Soul Dojo. Make sure you guys subscribe, like the video, and slap. Appreciate you so much, man. I'll talk to you soon. Definitely, yeah.